the heart of orchard, behind the brisk strides, what thoughts, what dreams? In that secret universe, a search for unknown treasures of the past, present, and future. Could a library be of service in this delicate web of hopes and dreams? What type of library would it have to be? And so was born the new library at Orchard Project, taking to heart the principle that the only important thing about design is how it relates to people. Many months and hundreds of conversations later, with a cross-section of people, the new library would draw its central design principle from a search for connections. Connecting the dots to make sense. Connecting with others to contribute and create. Connecting to the future. For that's what we've learned. People still want books, even in an internet world. But beyond books, they want to discover and deepen their creativity go beyond being passive, to create and share, to connect with others, and to stay relevant. After an extensive study of trends and our users, here are the spaces we've conceived. The Trend Gallery, curated digital content to keep the curious clued into what's hot, what's niche, and what's emerging in the world of design, technology, and lifestyle. The Book Tree, a treasure trove of book recommendations from fellow readers. A chance to come upon personal comments and gems of handwritten reader sharing. The Forum, designed for the delight of discovery to look out into the world with a book on hand or to join in a scheduled program. The Cocoon, a small and secret personal hiding place to escape into another world with a book on hand. Some of the features are less obvious. For digital creative expression, the makerspace with a suite of equipment and software, not to mention friendly assist guides and others with similar aspirations have the potential to be a creative hub for novices and the initiated. Turn a page and be transported into any topic that inspires, ranging from people, spaces, products, lifestyle, or visual wonders. It has all been curated with a fresh twist to engage readers. In the library, you will encounter a carefully considered flow to the layout for an optimal self-directed journey of discovery. That's where we are, a space budding with promise but as yet a young sapling that will be shaped by the connections and communities it spawns. such an exciting um, initiative together with Sing Poly for us to get the views of so many citizens in the design of this library. My hope is that Orchard Library can be a trailblazer for future ways to design libraries. We could have um, greater involvement from the community and that uh, there would be 
a lot of enjoyment and a lot of interest in design as something that is relevant for people's lives. Design thinking is all about the user at the heart of design. And for us at NLB, our users are very important to us. This is why we decided to use design thinking, because it's all about users and how they use our spaces. And we wanted to use a method that would allow us to understand the unmet needs of our users and then map out the experiences and the journeys that they would have through our libraries, through our spaces, through the collections and through the services that we offer at NLB. We are grateful to NLB for giving our students this opportunity to engage with clients and users in a real-world project. It's part of SP's constant efforts to give our students real-world learning. Back then, as a poly student, all the students would want to work with an external organisation as it provides a student with a very good working experience. But for me, it changes my way of thinking. Mm, yeah, I remember uh, going home late at night and rushing out the drawings and then the next day producing it and then straight away give it to the contractor. Then a um, few months later when I was in BMT, we were all in BMT, we actually got excused yes, and then we were invited to the prototyping exhibition. Yeah, then yeah. I got to see what I draw on paper and then actually standing right in front. Yeah, exactly. I, I think that event right, really was a yeah. very memorable experience because that's where like became real, you know. Mm. That's the moment where, wow, yeah. he's actually there mm. in this. And we all put up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> With consumption of literature and media now happening mostly online, there are discussions about how the library has to evolve to stay relevant. We also have to be careful that the new library stays familiar and accessible to users. So you won't find a library that is wholly different. It is essentially still a library, but with little gestures to herald in a new age of the library in the internet era. We wanted our ideas for the library to give users real and lasting value.